Hello guys, this is Blair. Today we're going to get through some five quick tips that most of the user in yours on Nexo POS, okay? Because most of the user, the first time that they have Nexo POS installed it, they don't really know how to do this, how to do that, and even if sometimes the documentation is clear, I assume that most of the user preferred uh, having some video where they can see how some feature are working and that's what i'm going to do today today i'm going to share with you five quick tips that maybe you don't know okay if you're ready so let's go the first one is how to enable the vat okay this feature is actually really simple to enable okay so the first thing you need to do is to access to the nexo post setting you should notice that actually on the dashboard there is actually um two setting we have nexo post setting and we have the site setting both are different actually nexo post setting actually adds uh all nexo post setting and the site setting actually uh, have only the general setting for the for the website such as the site name the site description uh, the time zone the language and some advanced settings uh, which are usually used by a developer or maybe if you want to open the registration or maybe if you want to require uh, validation once you have the system installed okay so we are not focusing on this we will focus on next support setting here and in order to to use in order to use the um, the vat you need to go to the checkout setting here and now you see here this option and have the VAT so you just select it to yes and now you set the rate as you want maybe 15 and then you scroll down to save the setting so now when you go to the to the pulse usually if the pulse is currently installed you will see um, you will see on the card here the VAT and nab it okay so the VAT will be updated according to the item that you'll be adding on the system here. Okay, so the second point is how to add input shortcuts. Okay, this is actually some feature that most of the grocery uh, you are using because sometimes they want, well, when they want to proceed to, to a sell, they want to have uh, some quick shortcut that they can use to input an amount an amount quickly especially when the the card value is really high uh, let me show you here okay so okay let me select this okay as you can see here we have this shortcut this is actually what we call input shortcut okay so i can input i can input the amount uh, like this and by default this feature is actually disabled Okay, so if you want to know how to enable this, so you go to the dashboard and then you scroll to the checkout setting. Okay, so you come here, you see shortcut keys. Okay, so uh, every every numbers that you input here should be separated by this uh, by this um, line, and then you can input as many amount as you want, but uh, we recommend you to input uh, at most five numbers because uh, we don't want it to overflow the payment box okay so i will change it to maybe we will start with 100 and then uh, 200 250 and 300 okay so now save the setting and i go back to the pass so try to make to add some items to the cart and okay so now try to pay it okay delivery okay here you can see here is the input added okay so you can customize it as you want and every time that you add it uh it will be working really easily okay so the next point is how does the label printing works okay so um when you want to use the the, the barcode label okay you want to use it on actually um a physical items because you assume that when you want to to use barcode labels it's maybe because you want to sell some physical items 
and uh, in order to use the bagel labels you need to trade physical items so let's let's assume i have one items here uh, most of these items are actually digital items so i'll edit uh, this item and change it to a physical item okay so uh let's go to the inventory tabs and then here select physical item save and go back to the list so this item is now a physical item okay so we have 30 300 quantity remaining okay so i want to print a label for this uh, what i need to do is first uh, if the item is created for the first time i need to make a supply because i assume that the item has been created but uh, we are not able to we don't have yet the stock of this item okay it's important is required for the, the backward labels so i will search for this item <clears throat> sorry she's black bean quesadillas okay so the purchase price i can input anything i want and the quantity i can input maybe 15 okay so select the provider i will select logi the default provider and then confirm the process okay so the the supply is done we have an, an invoice and now i can switch to the supply list and here is actually the latest supply made okay so we have the date here and we have the time so if i want to see all the item levels included on this supply i will select this option and then item levels okay do you remember that we've provided 15 quantity of cheesy black quesadillas this is the we have as much barcodes levels as we has we have supplied a quantity okay so it will be really easy for you to have a specific a quantity of bag of bag of labels that you can directly um, add to you can directly stick to the items okay that's how it's working okay so the next point is how to white label the system okay so you want to allow white label the system because you want to maybe you want to add your brand or maybe you want to change it you want to hide all those next post stuff okay so the first thing you need, to, you need to do is to go to the general setting and make sure here on the store name you have your name okay let's see your name you save this and the first change will up will be uh available here as you can see here on the setting is no more next support setting but it's now your name setting it might be uh your store name or anything so the next point is um, changing this name here, Tendu, and this stuff down here. Okay. So, what you need to do is to move to the logo type here and set it maybe to custom text or link to an image. It's up to you. So, I will select first the, I will select for this example, custom text. So, custom text, I can input um, your strong name strong close okay so uh, i'm just trying to use some html tags because i want it to be uh, uh customized okay so we have the name here and the footer text is actually uh something like this is this represent this option okay so um thank you for using your name okay so save the setting okay you can see here on top we have your name and on the bottom we have your name thank you for using your name this full text okay so that's how you can level you can level it and if i try to log out you will see now on the login page your name instead of gendu or whatever okay so the last point is how to automate focus on the search field okay this feature is actually really important if you are working with next person grocery stores maybe you want to have a quick pro a quick process 
uh, which involve using a barcode, a barcode scanner and you don't want to every time have to focus on the search field to search for an item using the barcodes okay so what you need to do is to go to the setting um, checkout setting and now here you will see enable quick search in if your store contains a lot of product use a quick search is essential okay so let me enable this and save the setting good so now when I go to the pause you will see that now the focus is automatically added to the search field and whenever you just uh, remove the focus on that field maybe uh, if you click on one item the focus is automatically added again to this field so every time that you'll be using your backup scanner and maybe you want maybe uh, to let's say use a calculator or you want to um, load um, hold order like this every time that you exit the focus will be automatically added to this field okay so i assume that now with the backload scanner you won't have any problem okay thank you guys for watching this video and hope you enjoyed this tutorial the next the next video uh, will be on gastro because uh, there is also some tips that most of the users doesn't know on gastro and i'll try my best to cover it so that you can use gastro easily thank you for watching this